So a man that's been with me from the beginning, he's tough, he's strong, and I hated that he ran because I would have loved to have brought him into my administration. In fact, if he loses, I'll bring him into my administration in two seconds. I hope he loses because I want him so badly, but don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I was angry when he did it. I said, don't do it. Sir, I want to be the governor of Kansas. I love my people. I said, go do it. Go do it. I was very unhappy. I was very, very unhappy. I said, go do it. Then he went out, and he's been winning, and he's been doing an incredible job. But he does. He loves this state. He loves this state so much. And I want to introduce the next governor of Kansas, Chris Kobach. Well, let me just say on behalf of all of Kansas, President Trump, welcome to Trump country. It is such an honor and a blessing to have President Trump here in the city where I grew up to support my campaign in the state that we all love. And I want to give President Trump credit for something really important. It's something he and I have worked together on. We've worked for, on a number of things, but the most important is stopping illegal immigration. I'm so glad that America has a president who gets it and knows that illegal means illegal. I want to tell you a quick short story about illegal immigration. I began working on this issue when I was an advisor to John Ashcroft at the time of 9-11. I was there during 9-11, and we all remember how the world changed. But let me tell you something that you may not know. All 19 hijackers came into this country legally on temporary visas. Five of them became illegal, mostly by overstaying their visas. Four of those five were stopped by state and local law enforcement for speeding violations. They were illegally in the country at the time, but the cops didn't know it, and so they, could, they didn't make an arrest, even though they could have, if they'd had that information at their fingertips. Now get this. Three of, those four the four, three of those four illegal aliens that they could have arrested were pilots. So if they had made those arrests, they could have stopped 9-11 from happening. Those numbers have shaped my career. The gravity of that has never left me, and I will not, and I know President Trump will not, allow our immigration system to be used again as a weapon to harm the American people. Stopping illegal aliens is not just about jobs, it's not just about crime, it's about our nation's security, and that comes first. And illegal immigration is an issue in this, in this campaign for governor. Did you know that my opponent, Laura Kelly, voted to continue allowing sanctuary cities in Kansas? She did. She did. Look it up. It's in the roll call vote. When I am governor, God willing, sanctuary cities will end in this state. <laughs> Laura Kelly also voted to allow illegal aliens to continue getting welfare benefits. So while we're struggling to pay our electricity bill, to pay higher taxes, we're meanwhile giving taxpayer dollars to illegal aliens. Is that fair? It's time to stop illegal aliens from getting taxpayer dollars.
It's time to put Kansans first, not illegal aliens. There's another big issue. There's another big issue that President Trump and I are, have both been concerned about. Voter fraud. Be because of the law that I drafted and the Kansas legislature passed, Kansas now has the most secure election laws in America. <laughs> photo ID creates trust in our elections. If you need a photo ID to cash a check or to buy the kind of Sudafed that works, you probably ought to need one to go put, cast a vote in an election. And proof of citizenship, too. Proof of citizenship. Every time an alien votes, every time an alien votes, it cancels out the vote of a U.S. citizen. You know, the Democrats and their socialist friends, they claim they care about voter cancellation or voter suppression, but they don't care about U.S. citizens' votes being canceled out. It's time for other states to require proof of citizenship, too, just like Kansas. One more, one more topic, taxes. Thanks to President Trump, our federal tax burden is much lower. But in Kansas, our state taxes are the highest in the region. It's time to cut our state taxes here in Kansas. When I am governor, the first bill that I want to sign is one that passes along the Trump tax windfall to the people of Kansas, $137 million. And on top of that, you've got thousands of Kansans being taxed out of their own home because of property tax appraisal increases. They can't afford to live in the home they wanted to retire in. When I am governor, we will put a 2% cap on property tax appraisal increases. To put it simply, I want to do for Kansas what President Trump has done for America. We've got a big election, a big election ahead of us on November 6th. It's a point of choice, not for only, only for America, but a big decision for Kansas. Tonight, President Trump is here calling on us to get out there and vote, calling on us to stand up. The time is now to stand up for the proven principles and constitutional rights that have made this country great and made this country strong. And the time is now that we must reject the political correctness that the progressives and the left are constantly putting on us. And stand up, and stand up for the time-tested values of hard work, faith in God, and the United States Constitution. Thank you, President Trump, for making America great again. And now we're going to make Kansas great again. Thank you, Chris.
What a job he did for me, I'll tell you. What a job he did. He's going to be a great governor. He will do the job for you. He is going to be a great, great governor. He is a tireless champion for border security. He'll fight for you every single day. He doesn't stop. He'll protect your family. He'll protect your children.